I just kind of think about it for a second and then I'm like, wait, did that happen? Wait, I keep asking if it's a dream. Coming to the hill to the mixed team event, we were all just so excited. All four of us, we ski jumping is an individual sport. So when you finally get the chance to compete in a team and you have your friends there to rely on and to enjoy the experience with, it's it's just such a fun time. So we were we were excited. We were just really hoping to make second round, which is an eighth place finish. Our goals were just to have fun and to have a good time as a team and be proud of ourselves and hopefully make our nation proud. In the first round we jumped into fourth place and already we were over the moon. I remember coming into the change room and Matthew and Allie were in there and we just already freaked out. We were like screaming, hugging each other. We were really excited and we all just kind of had to look at each other and be like, okay, let's let's chill this out, let's tone this down. We've all got one more jump to do. When I came off after my second jump, I knew that I'd done good and I felt confident my team could continue to carry on. Allie nailed down a 90 meter jump, which is her farthest jump that she had in competition here in Beijing. And I was just like, yes, my girl, she did it. Like she didn't crack under the pressure. I was so proud and just so excited because we were holding our position. And then when I was in the warming hut, I got to catch Matt's jump on the TV. And it was again, a super solid jump. But at that point, I didn't want to recognize what position we were in. So as soon as I saw him land, I left the warm-up hut. I had to go get ready to do my jump anyways, and I didn't look at any of the results. So I didn't know where we stood. I just knew that my teammates had done their job and now it was time for me to do my job. I had a really solid jump, and Ellie came out there and gave me a big hug. I was so happy at that point because I knew that we were sitting in third place and only Mackenzie was left. Max jump was up, we all went out onto the flats, and as soon as he left the takeoff, that's when I knew that we had done it because he got so much height and he came down, slapped down such a good landing and he came out towards us and we tackled him and that was one of the best moments of my life and Mackenzie was I think a little bit shocked and we kind of told him what was going on but we were all in shock and, and then they handed us this piece of paper with all these instructions for what to do when we got up to the podium and none of us had ever been in that situation. We just figured we we're going to go out and do do whatever feels right. So we tried to jump up at the same time, but we all had different ideas of what that was going to be. So we ended up stepping off and doing it again, which I think a few people got a kick out of. I finish in third. I can't believe it. It feels so surreal. I do something that's never been done by Canadians before in an event that is debuting at this Olympics. So it was pretty exciting. It was pretty special. We got the first bronze medal for the mixed team as well as ski jumping. Standing up there with my three teammates, just knowing how many sacrifices and how much work all of us have put in as individuals and as a group. We had all just done something so huge for ourselves, for our sport, for Canada, and it still hasn't set in yet.